And we do have a women's strawweight undisputed world title fight. This is Sanisa Estrada of the U.S., unbeaten, very marketable, uh, getting a chance now to be a four-belt champion. She will fight Yocasta Valle for the uh, four belts at strawweight or minimum weight in a women's world title fight. Boy, look at the odds. There are not a lot of knockouts in women's boxing. So before you hit the select button on a knockout prop, just be aware there are not. A, there's a reason why Rayfield that says on the screen plus one thousand and plus eleven hundred on the knockout. There's just not a lot of women's knockouts. Now we had one last week when we were handicapping the Sandy Ryan Terry Harper women's welterweight world title fight. That ended up being a knockout, but it's rare that these are the case. All right, handicap away here. Because I know you talked to Sanisa Estrada recently on our podcast in an extended interview. She's anxious for this opportunity. Four belts undisputed on the line. Yeah, really good matchup. I mean, in women's boxing, this is just about as good as it gets. Obviously, it's in the smallest weight class that there is. Uh, I'll preface the whole conversation here by saying uh, the free money pick of the week is the over on this fight, eight and a half. Uh, these, these two ladies are excellent boxers, but not a lot of power between them to speak of. Uh, first of all, bad blood. They don't like each other. They've been bowing back and forth. They've both wanted this fight for quite some time. They've had their say against each other. And there's definitely a big, big desire just on a personal level. And then you get into the, the accolades that come along with it. You have Estrada goes into this fight with two of the titles. You've got Yocasta Valle goes into the fight with two of the titles. So they will produce the undisputed four belt champion. A lot at stake for both of these women. And, uh, you know, I think originally actually Top Rank hoped to make this the main event, but they already had booked the Valdez and, uh, and a Wilson fight. And so for different reasons, logistically, it, it just worked better for them to go uh, be in this co-feature. But without question, this could have been the main event if they were doing uh, the schedule broke a little bit differently. Uh, but but this is a good matchup. Um, you know, Estrada has, I believe, a bit a little bit of a better resume than Valle does. She's also had a title in the 108-pound weight class. She has a win over uh, Marlon Esparza, who's now uh, a unified champion in the flyweight division. Matter of fact, that's a fight that that uh, Estrada would like to have a rematch with because they had a little bit of a messy technical decision uh, that, that Estrada won back a few years ago. In any event, uh, I like this matchup, and I, I the reason I that I'm going to tell you right now I'm picking Estrada to win the fight is I just view her as the more complete boxer. She has got a little more uh, overall game. I think she's got a few more tools in the tool chest, so to speak, and she can do a little bit more besides the fact that she's obviously very hungry and has desire to, to do this fight. They're both very motivated. But I just think when it comes down to it, she has a little bit more ability to adjust and do a few different like wrinkles, so to speak, compared to what Valle does, who's more of a straightforward kind of fighter. Not like When I say basic, I don't mean that negatively. Just there's not going to be anything that she's going to do that's, in my opinion, outside of what you normally would see. You can go to school on that. Um, the reason why we don't see a lot of knockouts in, in large part is frankly, because the rounds are two minutes for most right. of these fights. You have somebody like, uh, you know, that some of the women have pushed for the three minute rounds, like Amanda Serrano, for example. So they're going to longer rounds, but this is a two minute round fight. Matter of fact, one of the things Estrada said to me on our podcast is that she wants to fight three minutes, but because the WBC won't allow that, she has to play by their rules. Otherwise, if she doesn't, and they don't have this belt at stake, it wouldn't be for undisputed. So she has the mentality of wanting to fight the three minutes, but in the end, Good matchup, probably a fun fight, uh, interesting with the bad blood. But in the end, I think that Estrada, you know, wins the decision and uh, becomes the four belt undisputed champ. And obviously, if I'm picking a decision, TJ, what does that mean? It's going over the eight and a half. Taking the over as well. Estrada, again, 25 wins in her career no uh, now. And it's, and it's a good opportunity for her in a showcase situation here because of the attention around the main event, and it'll be a rocking arena, we think, as well. Four belt undisputed. All right, let's lock the picks in. You just heard Dan say he's taking decision for Sanisa Estrada. I'm in agreement. We're both going to take the over. And again, look at the ridiculous uh, payout for the over. Uh, I, I understand if you're having to lay 1,200, which you are, for the over in this situation where you where you may be hesitant. But we we say you might as well take it if you believe in the decision here, which we do, for Estrada in the fight with Valle. And then again, this fight is for four belt undisputed in the minimum weight women's world title world. Uh, so let's see what happens on that one again. Friday night, one fight to handicap, then your live Q&A. I know we're here a couple of days early. There's people probably joining us, and there have been some. We've seen uh, several dozen that have joined us here in about the last 15 or 20 minutes going, wait a minute, Rayfield on a Wednesday. 
Yes, it's never too soon to get Big Dan on a Wednesday. Here we are because of a scheduling uh, conflict. We're here early in the week previewing these fight cards. 